that verse that I sent you for Wavy, that was probably one of the fastest verses I've ever written in my hip hop career. And like, it got to the point where I was just like, I was recording this shit and I was like, yo, is this shit really hard enough? Like, is this, <laughs> is this shit good enough? Cause like, I wrote that shit so fucking quickly. I was like, did I just fucking rush this? You know what I'm saying? Do you remember how I approached you? Um, I don't really remember exactly, <laughs> 100% to be honest, but, uh, so sorry if the details are a little messed up here and there, but this is what I remember. You approached me, you sent me a message about wanting to write a song about motherfuckers who just love to tear you down regardless of how much effort, how much passion you put into your fucking art. You know what I'm saying? And you and I, as experienced MCs, have a lot of experience with this shit, yo. Especially as Asians in this shit, yo. Like, you know how many times I've heard fucking culture vulture? Fuck y'all motherfuckers for that shit, by the way. Only how a motherfucker think he acting slick. Got no motherfucking time for that acting shit. Hand it, trust to all the hands I touch. Expect it back to trust, but got scratched with cuts. The reality is motherfuckers try for greed. My reality is I don't know who's side to be. Trying to do the best of me to less than me. But even with that energy, the press of me. Cause the fucking end in G of this routine. Pessimists don't step to leave, you won't succeed. Got rid of my demons, gotta stop with yours. Call me up when you're ready to stop this song. Motherfuckers nowadays trying to be something they not. They wallin' and they wanna bring me down to the rock. Bottom with bottom, I grow into the best thing. Like had the red pause out of waste of energy. Hey. I stick it right to your soul. Yeah. I stick it right to your uh. Fuck yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, my manager Charles actually sent me a couple of beats that he thought I would sound good rapping on. And at first listen, I I didn't really like them, mainly because I did I couldn't hear myself rapping on them. And there was one beat there that I did pick, and it was called Playboy produced by Diddy Beats. That is the beat for Wavy. As soon as I heard the beat, I was already trying to adapt my flow to it. I was thinking, you know what, a kind of vibey song. How to not surround yourself around negative, harmful energy that doesn't influence your progress in life. And I knew one person that had a lot to say about that. That had to be Metaphors. Yo, what up, what up? This is Metaphors. Shout out to MC Zuko. Shout out to all the fans, the supporters of our track, Wavy. All the likes, the comments, the shares. If you just fucking vibe with the track, thank you so fucking much because our effort really was worth it. In in 2017, he sent his verse back to me. He went super hard on it that when I wrote my verse, I already sent my lyrics to him. I wanted to hear how I sounded like in the booth. So I went to Compound LA for the first time in, in late 2017. I recorded my verse. And when I heard how I sounded on it, I did not like it at all. You wanted me to write a, a track about this, and I felt it was so fucking perfect because since I was a kid, I've been dealing with haters. Even before hip-hop, to write this song, I felt like it was perfect. You know what I'm saying? It was fate's way of giving me an outlet to release all my, my energy, all my... To vent, basically, about my experience with dealing with negative motherfuckers. Metaphor, shout out to you. Um, you're the first MC that ever made me go back to a song and rewrite my bars. And I rewrote about three or four bars just so the flow could um, sound better with the song. And not only that, it leads up to Metaphor's second verse really well. And when I went to Compound LA to record for the second time, it was good, it was solid. Thing is, I didn't have the beat purchased yet. I didn't have the lease for it, and I didn't have the money at the time. I remember showing the song to Kuya Grizz when I first met him back in February of 2018. We in here. Just showed him a sneak peek of Wavy, and he really liked the song, and he told me, hey, is there any way that I can help? If you want, I can help pay for that beat. You ain't gotta pay me back. You know, I just wanna help out. So he did exactly that. We back in South Central LA. Yeah. I'm meeting up with Kuya James right now. It's good. What it do? What it do? It's I'm actually good, about man. to hit the studio again right now. He likes this song that's called Wavy. And the thing about that song is I don't have the stems to it. But what he told me is he wants to give me a hundred just as a gift 
no return necessary. When I tried to purchase the beat, it didn't go through because when I created my PayPal account, there was something going on with my account. I don't know what it was. So I actually gave the money to Queen Marvs and he purchased the beat. I'm currently trying to buy a beat, but Airbit's not letting me fucking log in. I want to start recording, but you know, we got to be patient. We're about to uh, record three songs right now. Very generous to give me an egg sandwich with no vegetables and black coffee. So we were mixing the song. I re-recorded my verse. I didn't rewrite it again. Uh, Kuyo Mars did a wonderful job with playing with the stems of the instrumental and we mixed in Metaphors' vocals. The idea to get DJ Mars on the track happened in April, the beginning of April. So the same month that I released Wavy. Cause we worked on uh, some stuff for the Side Time EP. Cause Metaphors actually introduced me to him about with his scratches. And then when I asked him to be a part of it, he said he was down. He sent the scratches like a week later. We mixed it with Queen Marvs and that was that. That's how he became part of the song. Get him. Let me tell you a little something about energy. The five that surround you is the person that you're meant to Real be. Talk. You find who surrounds you could be enemies or friends, depending if your eyes are even trained to see. And basically I'm saying that you need to be aware of people. You should watch your back because negative energies manifest to recipes that are stress your spirit. Interfering when it came around to the time in LA, in May, we found a place. And it was such a shame because it was such a beautiful place to shoot. It had a lot of graffiti. The sun was perfect if we had to go at the right time. And we were all... Where are we, bro? Scouting out the area to shoot wavy. Shout out to j -Mark for driving. Hi. We're really out here right now. We didn't shoot the music video yet after scouting in May. We actually performed it in June at Los Globos. And it was banging because like all of our supporters were there. The whole crew was there, and from what they were telling us, Wavy Live sounds really nice, especially in the club. So we shot the music video in October. I went to buy my clothes, I planned out my whole outfit, and I bought some blood capsules. The idea for that was we were being beaten by not only internal forces, but external forces telling us that we don't belong in hip-hop. But the day of, we ended up having to switch locations and I knew this other graffiti spot here in the back. We got the man meta motherfucking Morris up. Morris? Oh. Morris meta motherfucking Morris. <laughs> meta <laughs> Yo, wait, hold phone? on, there's still three things happening at the same time. Is that a new phone? Yes, it is a new oh, phone. Shit. It's a new phone. Wow, bro. Meta motherfucking Morris in this you know motherfucker. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, so it. many people have butchered <laughs> my name in the past, but not as bad as you just did. Bro. <laughs> Little motherfucking Morris, bro. That was an accident. And it's me of all people. Not one of his homies, I'm one of his MC homies, and it's like, damn. We're about to do a record shoot right here. God damn. Rolling. This is a wide shot. They wanna bring it down to the rock. Yeah. Yeah, more movement like that. Let's go! You wanna mess with us? Huh? What up? What up? I got James here. I got Kiki here. Let's get the I got metaphors here. Come on now. Come on now. I'm going to the best game. I got the red pods and points of energy. Hey, hey. Sick. Woo! Two minutes. That was dope. The people leave them to your cerebral because evil people get in the way. The vision for heaven saves the prison. Funny how a motherfucker think he acting slick. Got no motherfucking time for that acting shit. Nice. Handy trust to all the hands I touch. Expect Move around, bro. Got scratch for cut. Hey. Let's rap, 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 rap. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Sick. M M meta forest rap 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 rap. Nice. Nice. I'm behind the scenes footage. I'm here with the familia, Jmar James Keeks. 
We're here with Metaphorus Extended Familia. And this is what it is. Yeah. Bring at least two sets of clothes to a video shoot because it adds diversity and variety to your Vari yes, Variety. Always. That's something I learned in the Side Time EP. You gotta look good for the fans too, right? Always, most definitely. <laughs> look at this guy. Woo. Come on. Nah. <laughs> is the blood capsule stuff washable? Yeah, it's washable. Okay, cool. And he he ain't gonna use that shirt. If it's not washable, we ain't gonna use these shirts. I'm not gonna use this one again. I'm gonna keep the flannel most, most definitely. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Gray shirts aren't that hard to find. All right, we'll just practice like this. So I'm gonna wake up. The track. Rolling. As soon as I saw those blood capsules <laughs> right before we started shooting, I was like, yo, I know this is going to be the one. This shit is going to be good. Well, you start too early. <laughs> I mean, I start too early. Sorry. Can you can you rewind it? It's cool if there's, if you already yeah, start. It's cool if you already start with blood anyway. I started too late. Rolling. Just stay there, wait for the train. Just stay there and like look like sharp as fuck with the train coming through. Okay. That shit was nasty. That shit looks like something. Bruh. You look like you fucking hit an animal. Just stay right there. I'm gonna move. I've watched that shit at least 50 times over and over again, bro. Not even lying, man. I'm so fucking happy with how that shit turned out, bro. So we just finished filming like a boxing match. <laughs> just kidding. We're all bloody now. Shout out to the family here. We shot the music video there. It took us like an hour. And then we left and we got that shit done. That was hella fun. <laughs> Shout out to Jamar too for shooting the big, for editing that shit. That came out clean as fuck. Fuck. Great video shoot today. That shit was wild. It's definitely gonna turn some heads. Metaphors eating whack rappers for fucking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you can't already tell. After a couple of months, I, um, after October into 2019, which is already like a year since we, maybe like a year and a half since we collaborated on the song. Um, we finally got to release the video. February 19. 10 a.m. It's gonna be out, so let's get it, y'all. At the end of the day, I just want to work with genuine people. Zuko, I didn't get a chance to tell you this shit in person, but you got a good energy, man. You got a good, honest, genuine very much. love for this shit. Thank you very you know much. You know what I'm saying? And Zuko, you one of those few. So, shout out to you, bro. Signing off. All right, man. Sign off. Get some rest. Wavy is now available on all streaming platforms. The music video is also out. And if there's one lesson that I learned from this entire, entire year of getting this song, this whole collaboration together, is that... Maybe taking too long isn't so bad. But at the same time, for every project, we don't have to take too long if we know we can get things done like that. So, shout out to you, Metaphorus. I can count all the MCs that I find competition in with like one hand, and you're the middle finger. <laughs> all right, my brother, I'll catch you. Thank you for watching. Keep the fire, respect, hustle.